So many business owners around the world are struggling to find a way to implement AI into their businesses. A lot of the times, different employees are using ChatGPT for different purposes. Some people are crafting content, some people are drafting emails, some people are doing research. And at the end of the day, it's not a unified effort. But what if I told you that you can change this a little bit and create a custom GPT that brings all that information together into one place? Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating a custom GPT tailored for a sales team at a recruiting agency. And essentially, this GPT is going to be able to take information from the prospecting clients that they're looking at and turn it into a sales script or create questions for those sales scripts. Uh, aside from that, the custom GPT is going to be trained on the information of these recruiting agencies. Uh, and I'm going to just take out the name for the sake of privacy over here. But you're going to be able to see the entire process, how to do it and how to actually set this up for yourself as well. All right. So in order to make this happen, let's jump into the computer here and open ChatGPT. And once you open your ChatGPT, you are going to look on your left hand corner and you're going to click Explore GPTs. This is the GPT store where you can see all the custom GPTs created by different companies and individuals. Like you can see here, you have Can Academy, we have Whimsical, uh, Canva is also here and many others as well for many different purposes. And you are going to want to click on create on the top right hand corner. And this feature is actually only available for people who have the plus version of ChatGPT. So I think that's around $20 a month. And once that is set up uh, and you have that payment process, you're going to go to this page and open up this this page over here that has the configure the create and the preview side on the right hand corner okay so to create one of these custom gpts you can do it in one of two ways you can either go on the create tab and just have a conversation with chat gpt explain what you want it's very good at prompting and asking you what you want this custom gpt to do and i really recommend using this tool if it's the first time you're building a custom gpt or using this configure tab here i will want to con use this configure tab over here just because i already have a a few things set up that I'm going to bring into this page. So to get us started, let's start by giving this a name. So I'm going to call this a spin selling coach. And I'm going to say that it's for Matt's recruiting. So we have a name for our chat GPT and we're going to give it a little description. This description doesn't affect any of the functionalities for your GPT. All right. So just we have a brief description for whoever is seeing this GPT on the GPT store. Uh, they have an idea of what the purpose of this GPT is. We're actually not going to be posting this one on the store. I'm just going to be sharing it as a link uh, just because I think it's a better idea if you're creating a custom GPT like this and you want to share it internally. It's just the best idea to share that link around and have your sales team have access to it instead of just promoting it on the GPT store. After all, you're going to be giving information that's ex exclusive to your business. So for the instruction part, I'm actually going to paste a prompt that I had here from before, and I'm just going to explain what each part of this prompt does. So for the first part of this prompt, we're going to establish a role for this custom GPT. So we're just going to tell it that you are an award-winning sales coach who specializes in spin selling. We're also saying that they're an internal tool for Matt recruiting. So in the second paragraph, we want to give some context about the company. We can do this by including this information on the prompt here, or we can upload a document that talks about the product offerings, the values, the mission, and everything to do with the business. I just chose to do this way because it's a little bit easier for our purposes. And essentially we just say that Matt Recruiting is a healthcare uh, recruiting agency that connects um, healthcare professionals like traveling nurses to hospitals. After that, on our third paragraph, we just have uh, information on our knowledge base. So we say that I provided you with the ultimate guide to spin selling in your knowledge base. Use this to answer any spin selling related questions and align with Matt services. And at the very end, we're going to have a little bit of a prompt explaining what our custom action is going to do. We're going to jump into that custom action part in just a little bit, but it just says you have a tool to help your user uh, and then the name of the tool. And we say that this function creates spin questions based on a URL provided by the user. Always ask for the user for the URL. Since we have those instructions out of the way, let's move on to the knowledge base. We already have the instructions on how to use the knowledge base for this ChatGPT. So I'm just going to pick this guide that I had downloaded from before, and we're just going to upload it over there. This is a spin selling guide, an article, really nice article that I read on this selling technique. Uh, for those of you who might not be familiar with, spin selling is a, a pretty old sales technique, sales framework used. I think it was developed in the 1980s. 
uh, and I'm just using this because to, with ChatGPT because it's a very well-known framework. So once you upload your knowledge base over here, it's always good to go back to the prompt and make sure that you are giving the right information uh, and just provide with what they're gonna use this knowledge base for. So in this example, we just include this little part. This little part is very important to say, use this to answer your spin related uh, spin selling related questions and align with match services. So it already knows about uh, my hypothetical recruitment recruiting agency services and now it has a knowledge base to match that type of knowledge with. Over here, ChatGPT actually offers their in-house capabilities and you can do one of these three things. I think for the purposes of this GPT, it would just be nice to include web browsing uh, just in case someone wants to do some research outside but our custom action won't need that web browsing tool because we're gonna create this in a separate um, in a separate website. So for your custom action, this is where it can get a little bit complicated. We're not gonna go straight away into creating an action down here. We're actually gonna go to Relevance AI and Relevance AI is a really nice tool. They have a free trial and you can create an account clicking on try for free and you should be able to follow this tutorial um, with the free trial, I already have an account and that's what we're gonna be using today. So once you have Relevance AI open, you're gonna be faced with this little um, interface and you're gonna wanna go to the top left-hand corner and click on those three lines and click on templates. We're gonna use a template to create our custom tool, but it's really nice because you can, just like the GPT store, you can see what are the custom templates that Relevance AI offers for you to integrate with your custom GPTs or even integrate with external AI tools that you are using. The template that we're gonna use for this tool is gonna be web scraping. How the web scraping tool works, I can show it to you guys, is you input a URL and then you input the objective of the scraping. So you're gonna put the URL of your prospect's client or your prospect's company and you're gonna de just describe a little bit of what you wanna do with this web scraping and then you're gonna run tool down here. So just to show a sample of what this tool can do, we're gonna paste the website URL for a bakery around my area. Obviously this is not related to what we're creating as of right now. This is kinda just to show you guys how this interface works. And once you explain what you wanna do, for your scraping of the website, it's gonna load this 100% bar down here. All right, there we go. So it gave us a little summary of what Brecca Bakery does, everything that I would need to know to offer them marketing services. So this tool works really well, but we don't wanna keep giving it a scraping objective every time that we interact with it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on the top right hand corner and you're gonna clone this tool. You're gonna click on continue here. All right, nice. Once you do that, it's gonna show you all the steps required to create this custom tool. And I'm not gonna go too deep on these steps, but essentially if you're following along and you wanna do this, you're gonna take out this objective of scraping, you're gonna take out this um, this input and it's gonna give you a little notification over here because it needs this input to run the LLM prompt and then you're just gonna adapt that. Since I have already created this and I have already um, customized this prompt and this tool, this template in general, we're just gonna go over to our tools because this is where it's gonna pop up. And as you guys can see, I tried a, diff a few different templates. This is the one that worked best for me. And uh, this is actually the part that we create the custom tool for the chat GPT. All right, so how do we do that? First, we wanna click on the top right hand corner, uh, click on new. It's gonna open up this new page that says create tool. And you're gonna click again on custom actions for GPTs. Relevance AI actually gives you a little bit of a tutorial on how to do this. And if this is the first time that you're doing this, just follow along. Uh, we already did this first step of creating the action uh, or of creating the custom GPT. Now down here, we're gonna choose our uh, custom action, our tool. And I'm gonna use this one because this is the one that I already customized. And we're gonna move down here and follow this step essentially. This is gonna generate an API key that we're gonna input into the custom GPT. So we're gonna copy this over here, move over to chat GPT. And then we're gonna click on create custom action, authentication, API key, and we're gonna paste that key. Right, let's have that saved over there. Go back to Relevance AI, scroll down, and we're gonna do the same that it's doing on this little GIF dash video and we're gonna copy the open API schema and we're gonna paste it over here. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and test out this feature? Uh, I wanna actually use the preview side. You can use the test button down here. 
uh, as well, but I'm going to use the preview side. So this website is the LA uh, County Medical Center, I think. And I just provided with the link to see if it's going to create custom questions based on this link. And we'll see what it does for us. Right now, it already did the first debugging step and it's talking to the relevant AI tool. All right, there we go. So it talked to the agent and here are some spin sales questions tailored to the LA General Medical Center. So it has a few situation questions. Then it moves on to the problem questions like we wanted it to. Implication questions, need payoff questions. Nice, this worked really, really well. Uh, it does give a really extensive list on questions. That's how I prompted it to do. And I'm also using ChatGPT 4.0 on our extension uh, just because these answers are a little bit better. But keep in mind that if you're using a later version of ChatGPT that does cost more in tokens or credits as they call it in Relevance AI. So that means they're gonna be spending more credits um, to run each of these operations. Nice, now that we have that, we're gonna go over this privacy policy part, because for you to share your GPT, you need to have a privacy policy. Otherwise it won't let you um, create this GPT externally. It can only create it for yourself, All right? So to create this privacy policy, there's actually a very simple way to do this. We just go over to ChatGPT and we say, um, create a privacy policy. And then we're gonna go over to Matt Recruiting. Look at that, it created a little image that looks amazing. And we're gonna copy the instructions and we're gonna just say, uh, here is some information on that custom GPT. And we're gonna go over here, paste it, tell it to create the privacy policy. We're just gonna go over here, copy it over, make sure that the information here is your information. Um, even though you're just gonna be using this policy internally, Nice, they even created a little email for us. Uh, this is not a real email, but we're just gonna keep it for that, for the purposes of this video. And then we're gonna come over to Designer GPT. I, I'm gonna put this the link to this Designer GPT, but essentially what this does, it creates and hosts web pages for us. So we're gonna create and host this privacy policy web page so we can post it on our custom GPT. I'm just gonna prompt it with create a web page for my privacy policy. Include all the following text. And then I'm just gonna paste the text that we that we copied. And we're gonna paste it over here. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna ask us if we want to use images from Dolly, but I think that's just part of the process from this uh, custom GPT. I'm just gonna say no images, please. And it's gonna start creating our website. So we just have to wait until it's done with this whole cold part. And it's gonna give us a link to our privacy policy. Okay, nice. So we created a privacy policy page. It looks like everything is here. So what we wanna do is we wanna copy that link, move over to the custom GPT that we were building, click on the action, scroll down, and just add the privacy policy over here. Uh, this is gonna let you share actually your GPT internally or externally, however you wanna share it. So over here, we can create some conversation starters and we're gonna have these conversation starters now. And that pretty much wraps it up. So we are definitely gonna test this in one second. I'm just gonna click on create and allow anyone with the link to have access to this custom GPT. All right, so we have our custom GPT published. Let's give it one last try and test out some prompts over here. Let's go with this one. How can I use spin selling at Matt Recruiting? This is a good prompt for us to test the knowledge base, see if it's grabbing uh, what we need from the knowledge base. And so far, it looks like it is. It tells us a little bit of principles, how to apply in healthcare recruiting. So it, it's taking that information that we gave it previously. And it even is giving some sample questions here, uh, general to the company, which is really nice. And as one last test, we're gonna test out that custom action, which is one of the most complicated parts of creating this GPT. So let's just say create spin selling questions based on this URL. We're gonna use that same URL over here. Sometimes it takes uh, one or two tries for it to work. So I'm really happy that that worked out and you guys were able to see a little bit of the custom actions that this GPT is capable of doing and some other templates available on Relevant AI as well.
So there you go. In under 15 minutes, we were able to create a custom GPT that has a knowledge base and has a custom action. And better than anything, it can really support your sales team to create these complicated questions based on the spin framework. And it can really help this hypothetical recruiting agency that we're talking about right here. I really hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and you were able to follow along and you got to understand a little bit more of what custom GPTs can do for your business. If you didn't or if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out on the comments below or on the link as well that's going to be on the description. I'm more than happy to help and I really like learning about this AI stuff and especially doing things for other people. So once again, thank you so much for watching and please leave any video suggestions down below and I'll make sure to take a look at that as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.